This is Bergstrom State Line Quiz Bowl. Now from the Collins Aerospace Studio at the Nordloff Center in downtown Rockford, here's your host, Eric Wilson. Welcome and Merry Christmas to this weekend's Bergstrom State Line Quiz Bowl. It is the Christmas edition. Unfortunately, poor planning on our part. We didn't wear our Santa hats. Last week, you may have seen a fantastic game. Um, it was a really tight match between Christian Life and North Boone, but the deciding factor in that game for sure was the Nika IBEW lightning round that Christian Life pulled away. Um, they are headed to round two where they will face one of these two teams. First, let's say hello to the River Ridge Knights. Thank you. This is the... <laughs> Well, go ahead. Fallon, Fallon's got a speech, so we got a little bit of time here. I uh, know Fallon, first of all, welcome to the team. This is your first time playing yep. in our tournament, so we are very happy that you are here. Thank you. Um, and you, because I told you before the game, you're going to have to introduce your team. I know you are ahead of the game, <laughs> and I appreciate that, so I shouldn't have interrupted you. Who is your starting lineup? Sorry. Um, my name's Fallon, captain of the team, and to my far left, we have Idar, and then to the right of him is Ashton, and then to my right is Logan. Welcome, River Ridge Knights, and we're happy to have you here as part of the tournament. Thank Hope you. you have a good time. Good luck, and let's say hello to the Hananiga Indians. <laughs> Indians are not new to our tournament. The, the Hananiga has uh, fronted a team every season since day one. Four appearances in the Elite Eight or better. No pressure on you, Grant, but your team has some pretty solid history here in our tournament. Introduce us to your starting lineup. Hello, as you heard, my name is Grant. Uh, starting from my left, my teammates are uh, Sebastian. Ethan, and on my right, Joseph. Good luck to both of our teams. Yes, I interrupted your applause. Good luck to both of our teams. Shall we begin? All right, hands on your buzzers. For our buzz in round, each question's worth 10 points. The two most important rules, wait for me to call your name and say your answer loudly and clearly. Here we go, our first question this week. What musician behind the album Father of Assad featured Rihanna on the 2017 hit Wild Thoughts and is a DJ who uses catchphrases like Another one. Idar. DJ Khaled. Another one zero points handed out to you. Nice job. Thank you. River Ridge is first on the board. What actor who hosted the 2020 CBS game show Game On previously starred in a Comedy Central sketch comedy series with Jordan Peele? Grant. Key. Yes. We'll take that, right? All you need is the last name. The show is Key and Peel. That was Keegan Michael Key, a favorite of our director, A.A. Ron. Oh, oh. 10 points for Hananiga. New question. Oxygen enters cells through what process in which molecules cross the cell membrane passively, going from regions of high to low concentration? Grant. Osmosis. Incorrect. River Ridge, you could have these points. That process is diffusion, similar to osmosis, but diffusion is what we needed. And we've got a new question for both teams. What 19th century French author wrote two novels about poor relations titled Cousin Pawns and Cousin Bet as part of his series, The Human Comedy? Grant. Flaubert. Incorrect. River Ridge. Honoré de Balzac. That was a tough literature question. Let's get a new one. In 2016, what state's residents approved the new name Utkiavik for the city of Barrow, giving an Inuit name to a city grant? Alaska? That's correct, north of the Arctic Circle. Inuit was probably a good clue. You've got 10 more. What disease for which the FDA gave a June 2021 approval to the $50,000 a year drug Adjuhelm is the most common cause of dementia in the US? Sebastian. Alzheimer's. That is correct. That approval is kind of controversial because the drug showed little benefit to those patients, but you still get 10 points for that. New question. What island, which names an orange-flavored but blue-colored liqueur, is a Dutch-owned Caribbean island that is the C in the so-called ABC Islands? Ashton. Curacao. We'll take that. Curacao. That's, the spelling looks like Curacao, right? It's Curacao. The other islands are Aruba and Bonaire. You've got 10 points. Which English king conquered Cyprus from Isaac Komnenos, conquered Cyprus from Isaac Komnenos during the Third Crusade, one of many military feats that earned him the nickname Ashton? Richard I? Yes, 
You didn't even need the nickname part, which was Lionheart. We would have also taken Richard the Lionhearted. Ten more for River Ridge. The treaties that ended the Seven Years' War and the American Revolutionary War were both signed in and named Grant. Paris? Yes, that is correct. Named for what city? That was the rest of the question. You didn't need it. You've got ten more points. What boy is mistreated by his aunts, Sponge and Spiker, and befriends talking insects in a Roald Dahl Ethan? James? That's correct. His boy, it was about the boy's travels in a giant peach. James Trotter is the full name. We would, we would have accepted either of those names, and you got your, those 10 points. What Greek god who creates a net to ensnare the adulterous Ares and Aphrodite? Ethan. Hephaestus? Yes, is the equivalent of the Roman Vulcan and is the god of blacksmiths. 10 points to Hananiga, and that's how we end the round. So relatively close, 60 to 30. That's a tight game to start off. Hananiga's got the 60, River Ridge has 30. We need to take a break, but we've got lots of game left to play. Our volleyball round is next. Thanks again for spending part of your Christmas weekend with us. We are one round into our game today in the Berkshire State Line Quiz Bowl. Hananiga is on top, 60 to 30 over River Ridge. We're about to start our volleyball round. It's a back and forth. You can work as a team, but I have to hear from the captains only. Those are uh, who have to give the answers. Um, and because of the coin flip, our first volleyball question will go to Grant and the Hananiga Indians. Are you ready? Here's the first one. What NBA team, which won its first title in 1999 with the Twin Towers of David Robinson and Tim Duncan, is led by Greg Popovich and plays in Texas? Spurs. Spurs? You got it. There were three to choose from, right? The Mavericks, Rockets, or Spurs. Spurs is correct. Hananiga's first on the board this round. Now we go over to River Ridge. Mrs. What's It, Mrs. Who, and Mrs. Which helped Meg Murray find her father by testering through the universe in what 1962 novel by Madeline Lengel? A Wrinkle in Time. You got it, right before the buzzer. Yep, that one kicks off a five book series and River Ridge has 10 more. We're back to Hanariga. A frequency ratio of two to one underlies what musical interval whose two tones have the same letter name? Octave. Octave? Yes, you knew that one really quickly too, and that's 10 more for Hananiga. Back to River Ridge. What African country's president, Juvenal Habyarimana, was killed in a plane crash, after which almost a million Tutsis were killed in a 1994 genocide? Rwanda? Yes, you got that one correctly. You said that kind of with a question mark in your voice, but you were right on. 10 points, back to Hananiga. We're point for point in this round. Edmund Burke's defense of tradition and skepticism of revolutions are usually considered the intellectual start, intellectual start of what broad political philosophy? Liberalism. Liberalism? Mm, just the opposite, conservatism. Conservatism. No points there, we're back to River Ridge. What author of an essay on eloquence in the vernacular wrote La Vida Nuova to express his love for Beatrice and depicted hell in his poem Inferno? Dante? Yes, Dante Alighieri for the full name. Inferno was part of his divine comedy. River Ridge has 10 more. The Burgess Shale is home to many fossils from what geologic period that saw a massive increase in biodiversity in its namesake explosion? Cambrian? Cam Cambrian? Yes, the Cambrian explosion. The Burgess Shale is located in the Canadian Rockies. 10 more for Hananiga. What set denoted Q consists of numbers whose decimal expansions terminate or repeat and which can be expressed as fractions of two integers? Mixed numbers? Incorrect, rational. It's kind of a tough math definition. Let's go back to Hanani. You get this right, you'll be in triple digits. After establishing the Little America base on Antarctica in 1929, what navigator and his crew were the first to fly over the South Pole? Hood. Say that again. Hood. Incorrect. Bird. Admiral Bird. Kind of appropriate that he flew over the pole. His last name is Bird. Uh, no points there, and that's how we end the round. And uh, we end the round again, sort of where we started it, with a 30-point spread. Hananiga's still in the lead with 90 points. River Ridge has 60, but it's only 30 in between them. 
We'll get back with more points in just a minute, but you get to play uh, from home with our Bergstrom bonus question. Watch this and stick around for the answer. Originally voiced by Boris Karloff in a 1966 television show, which avocado green creature is widely known as being a mean one and hating Christmas? Welcome back. We're about to hand out a very nice Christmas gift here. At halftime, our tradition is to do the Bergstrom bonus question. If you're watching at home, you already saw the question. Our contestants haven't. If you get this one correct, contestants, it's pizza and pasta from Lino's of Rockford. Hands on your buzzers. Let me know if you know the answer to this. Originally voiced by Boris Karloff in a 1966 television show, which, which avocado green creature is widely known as being a mean one? Sebastian. Is it the Grinch? It is the Grinch. Very good. And he hates Christmas, too. I won't make you sing the song. Um, actually, and, and fun fact, in 2002, TV Guide ranked the Grinch fifth on its 50 greatest cartoon characters of all time. So feast on some roast beast at Lino's that you just won for your team. Nice job, Sebastian. We'll get back to more gameplay with our Nika IBEW lightning round in just a couple of minutes. We are ready for our Nika IBEW lightning round. Hope you are too. Sebastian's still riding high off of his victory on that Bergstrom bonus question about the Grinch. Uh, we'll see if maybe some Christmas wishes can come true with a bunch of points in this lightning round. Because of the coin flip, River Ridge gets first choice. So the three categories you have to choose from Fallon are L words, countries on the equator, and numerical names. Countries on the equator. All right, you got it. Maybe you have a geography expert on your team. Who knows? We'll see how these go. Seems like you made that decision very quickly. You have 60 seconds to go through these 10. Could get 100 points if you run it. Uh, whatever they don't get to, Grant, you and the team will get to clean up, but you only get 30 for it. Advice to both teams, you can pass. Countries on the equator. What country on the equator, and I will complete that sentence for you, so your answers will all be countries. Here we go. What country on the equator contains the islands of Java and Sumatra? Indonesia. Indonesia. Correct. Is the most populous South American nation? Brazil. Brazil. Correct. Has a name from the Spanish for equator? Ecuador. Ecuador. Correct. Is home to Medellin, where drug lord Pablo Escobar once operated? Colombia. Colombia. Correct. Contains the autonomous state of Puntland on the tip of the Horn of Africa? Somalia. Somalia. That's correct is governed from Brazzaville. Pass. Contains two spears and a shield of the Maasai people on its flag. Kenya. Correct. Is home to Entebbe on the north shore of Lake Victoria. Tanzania. Tanzania. Incorrect. Contains the volcanic Mount Niragongo near its city of Goma. Pass. Is governed from Libreville. Liberia. Incorrect. Is governed from Brazzaville. And that's our time. Time is up. Pretty solid performance there. One, two, three, four, five, six. You got six of them right. Added 60 to your score. You are now at 120. So there's four left on the board for you, Grant, and the team. You've only got 30 seconds to get to them. I'll read them as fast as I can. Here comes your first one. Are you ready? What country on the equator is governed from Brazzaville? Congo. I need more than that. Democratic, Democratic Cong Congo? Incorrect. Is home to Entebbe on the north shore of Lake Victoria? I think that's Congo, the Congo too. Congo, Democratic Congo. Incorrect. Con contains the volcanic mountain Niragongo. Japan. Incorrect. Is governed from Libreville. Trying to get your, yeah. the time is up there. So. So there were very subtle differences here between Republic of the Congo and Congo. One of them was one answer, one of them was the other answer. A Democratic Republic of the Congo that you gave for that number six made it wrong. What we needed for that first one, where Brazzaville is, is Republic of the Congo. That was the official name for that one. Um, and Teba, on the north shore of Lake Victoria, is Uganda. The volcanic Mount Niragongo is in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. We could have taken Congo. We could have taken DRC for that one. And the last one governed from Libreville is Gabon. 
That's one category down, one to go, and Grant, you have two to choose from. L words or numerical names? All right, it seems like you had that decision made before I asked. That's pretty quick, and we'll get right to it. Identify these people or places known by numerical names or nicknames. It's as descriptive as I can get. Hopefully that helps. And then Fallon, if you're paying attention, you'll get 30 seconds to get what they don't. Ready? Identify these people or places known by numerical names or nicknames. Title group of an 1844 Alexandra Dumas novel. Three Musketeers? Correct. Term for a participant in the California Gold Rush. 49er? Correct. Small, mostly spherical droid in the Star Wars sequels. Pass. Pass. Highest mountain in the Karakoram range. Uh, pass. Group of Russian composers, including Modest Mogorsky. Big three? Incorrect. Telekinetic Girl, played by Millie Bobby Brown on Stranger Things. Eleven. Correct. Landmark where Utah, New Mexico, and other states Four meet. Corners. Four Corners. Correct. Irish group with the song A Beautiful Day. Four Leaf Clovers. Incorrect. Teleporting and time traveling youth on the Umbrella Academy. Five. Correct. Incarcerated alias of Jean Valjean in Les Miserables. Pass. Small, mostly spherical droid in the... BB-8. You got it right before the buzzer, and we'll give you those points. You were trying to get back to that one, weren't you? I could tell. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six more. So you're up to 150. That means there's four left. Fallon for you and the team, and I will read them as quickly as I can. You only have 30 seconds. So you're ready for the first one? Yes. Identify these people or places known by numerical names or nicknames. Highest mountain on the Karakoram range. Pass. Group of Russian composers, including Modest Mussorgsky. Big four. Incorrect. Irish group with the song Beautiful Day. Cranberries. Incorrect. Incarcerated alias of Jean Valjean in Les Miserables. 2249. Incorrect. And that's all we had. Uh, highest mountain in the Karakoram range. No answer. Okay. I was waiting for that 30 second buzzer. I forgot that you had passed on that one. Um, so let's go back to these that no one got. So that highest mountain is K2. Uh, the group of Russian composers, that one's kind of tough. The Mighty Five, also known as the Mighty Handful, the Russian Five. Um, audience, the Irish group with the song Beautiful Day, U2. And the incarcerated alias of Jean Valjean. Um, I had to read it closely because in the novel, he has a different number than he does in the musical. He's prisoner 24601 in the musical. Um, in the novel, he's briefly captured and assigned 9430. That was the answer to that one. So we have a 30-point game going into our final round, and that is not a lot of points because we've seen leads change very quickly in this game. Hananiga's 150, River Ridge has 120, and that final challenge is next. You know, one thing we've noticed after every round of this game, there's been a 30-point swing. Hadanik has been on top by 30 points every single round. This round, no exception. Um, so River Ridge, you got 30 points to make up in this round, but it's possible, very easily possible, because the Mercy Health Final Challenge has questions worth 20 points each. It's a buzz in, hands on your buzzers, and again, in a close game like this, most importantly, wait for me to call your name and say your answer loudly and clearly. Hands on your buzzers. Good luck, teams. Here is our first question and the final challenge. What term that describes the proteins targeted by COVID-19 vaccines is also used by epidemiologists to describe rapid increases in grant spikes? That's correct. In cases of a disease, Hananiga earns the first 20 of the round. The island of Mona in modern Wales was sacred to what Celtic priests whose use of human sacrifice was discussed by Julius Caesar? Grant. Barbarians? Incorrect. River Ridge. You could take these 20. Logan. Druids? You got it. The Druids. That's right. And those are your 20. We're back to a 30-point swing. What composer of a set of Hungarian dances for piano four hands used a vernacular text for his A German Requiem and wrote a namesake lullaby? Grant. Brahm? Yes. Brahms lullaby. Johannes Brahms. And that's your 20. 
What Pierre-Auguste Renoir painting, completed in 1881, shows a group of friends relaxing on the balcony of a restaurant along the Seine? Fallon. Bathers at a Sneers. Say that again. Bathers at a Sneers. Incorrect. I had to ask because I wanted to make sure that wasn't the French version of it. Luncheon of the Boating Party is the English, ver English title. The Déjeuner des Canotiers is the French version. No points. What Greek city, which massacred Melos and dominated the Delian League, was led by Pericles before it was defeated in the Peloponnesian War by Sparta? Ashton. Athens. That is correct, and you've got 20. Oktoberfest is celebrated annually in what European city... Idar. Berlin. Incorrect. I will finish for Hananiga. The capital of the state of Bavaria. Grant. Munich. Yes, you got it right before the buzzer. We knew it was a city in Germany, clearly, but those 20 points are Hananiga's. What novel whose characters include the pianist Mademoiselle Rice and a Ethan? The Awakening. Yes, I didn't even need the rest of that question. We're so tight, I'm moving on. 20 points for Hananiga. Dragline excavators are often used to extract what natural resource whose varieties include anthracite and lignite? Sebastian. Is it granite? Incorrect. River Ridge, you could take these 20. Fallon. Metamorphic rocks. Incorrect. Santa will leave some of this in your stocking if you're naughty. It was coal. What modern-day country, well, where Delftware ceramics developed during a 17th century golden age, was the birthplace of Jan Vermeer and Rembrandt? The Sebastian. Nether the Netherlands? That is correct. You got 20 points. And that long buzzer means the round is over. So we don't end with a 30-point swing at the end there. It is a 90-point swing. Hananiga pulled away in that final round, 250 to 160. Congratulations, Indians. Nice job. Um, also, River Ridge, great job. First of all, we want to thank you for coming and participating in the tournament. Um, we know you didn't get to advance. Someone has to go home. This is the hardest part when we have to say goodbye to our teams. Um, but we hope that you will come back next season. How many of you are seniors? You all are seniors. Okay, your homework assignment for the next several months is to make sure that you have more teammates to come and participate in our next tournament. Deal? All right, thanks, Idar. Um, and Grant and the Hananiga Indians, congratulations. You're moving on. You'll meet Christian Life in round two. So we will see you soon, and we hope to see you next weekend for our first match of 2022 when Keith takes on Guilford. Merry Christmas.